Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, I've been wanting to go over this since it finally dropped, but thanks to John Randall, we have a copy for the channel, and that is Denver, Colorado's probably... This might be one of my favorite United States black metal projects right now, and this is only a mini LP. And I'm talking about Stormkeep Galdrum. Yo. Van Records did the vinyl. And 180 gram white smoke vinyl limited to 500 copies. I have the poster up there. You can kind of see the logo. But absolutely gorgeous artwork that is influenced by a 1994 black metal release that's semi underrated or that might have been a joke and it's about something that everybody knows but I'm not really sure I need to ask certain individuals that play in Stormkeep that are also in Blood Incantation Wayfarer etc but I'm talking about one individual in particular but I'm not giving his non stage name away but you might recognize him in this photo he has a sword and plays drums in a band that has songs about aliens so you probably know what band I'm talking about but Everything about Stormkeep is fucking awesome. Like, I really like how it says the cover art. And this might be true, but I think it's kind of tongue-in-cheek that the cover art and back panel art by Ian Miller is actually from 1994. Because this legit sounds straight out of 1994. It's awesome. A perfect mix of second wave Scandinavian black metal worship with straight up dungeon synth parts. It's awesome. Like, I love this shit. It's like if Eternal Champion was a black metal band. Yeah. It's fucking great. Ball Drum by Stormkeep. I can't stop listening to this fucking record. Just absolute fire. Like this strawberry shortcake flower. Holy shit. But this is just icy. It was actually recorded in a blizzard. The vocals were recorded in like an abandoned fucking like keep pretty much. It, it's re like really, really cool stuff. And with the layout and design by the fucking lurking devourer. Oh, you should know that name. But you have no fucking clue how much this record is like on the nose for what it wants to be and what it is because you could tell like and if you know the individual i'm talking about he actually has an emperor tattoo so you know the love of emperor is fucking real and it's on full display here but also just Keep this in mind, Stormkeep represents medieval fantasy, ancient legend, and magic exclusively. You have no idea, unless you've heard this record already, how beautiful this is when it wants to be. The whole thing is just a giant storm of riffs and just awesomeness the drum the everything about this is 
so fucking dialed when it comes to black metal. Nothing feels forced. This is a pure, just organic listen. And I am extremely picky with black metal. If you watch this channel, you know that. And we have a big release coming from Appalachian Noise Records. I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm fucking so stoked because I can finally go over a certain artist I've been waiting to go over. And he's on the kind of opposite spectrum of United States black metal where it's more raw and savage and... This split, yeah, I think, because we're going to be going over two splits eventually, but the one, you're going to be like, holy shit, this is amazing. And I don't want to spoil it, but you probably know who I'm talking about. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me post some of his records, but I've been holding off on covering them on the channel until there were damaged covers and... I was waiting for that to get shipped out, and it shipped out yesterday, so fucking hails to Appalachian Noise Records. But Germany's Van Records put this bad boy out, and one of the main reasons this took a pretty long time to actually make it out into the world was they wanted to pick the right record label. Everything needed to be perfect. From the artwork, everything. And I think, you know, ending up being stranded, like up in the mountains when it came time to record and being trapped legitimately due to a blizzard in the Rocky Mountains. You can hear it like in the music. It's not bullshit. It's not just dudes, you know, wearing spikes and trying to just do something that's already been done. This is not ABD territory. It is, but it isn't. Like, of course, there's a million bands out there I can compare this to. There's the a lot more vicious... But at the same time, in my opinion, kind of similar, Death Fortress. But Death Fortress is a hell of a lot more just raw and savage than Stormkeep. Stormkeep is, like I said, this could have legitimately fell out of 1994 been some lost record and nobody would have known the fucking difference that logo alone to me like is just amazing again I, I've mentioned it before I feel it's important for bands to have logos like I understand like changing shit up and stuff but like Stormkeep like their logo is fucking killer like the actual castle the logo into a actual fucking battle sword it's so badass and I know it's probably just for fun to go with the whole aesthetic saying the artwork is from 1994 but it would really be awesome if it was but to me, this is something I did not expect out of the current United States black metal scene. And that's probably because this was recorded in... Alright, all songs were recorded by candlelight among the mountains in Nederland, Colorado. September Anno 2018. Except Lost in Mystic Woods, recorded in Late Wood by Lord Dathar. Vocals recorded in the ruins of Caribou at midnight in a blizzard by the light of the moon. They brought an 8-track recorder and set up inside this fucking room 
with no roof, I think, and I think just the walls were keeping the blizzard out, or maybe it had a roof and walls, but was abandoned. I forget, but I read about it, and I was like, I wonder if they're just saying that stuff, but I don't think they're lying here. Like, it really feels, you know, like... They took this extremely seriously, took it to heart, and th that's, to me, the point of a passion project. It's not to make extra money or anything like that. It's to get your creativity out there in a project where, you know, it might not fit someplace else. Like, for example, if Paul has some badass riff, and they're working on some spectral voice stuff, but let's say the riff is more based in blood incantation territory. He might be like, you know, well, this doesn't work for spectral voice, but, you know, it might work for blood incantation. Isaac, same exact... Fuck. Isaac, same exact way, though. Although he's one of my favorite legit songwriters. If you go and look at blood incantation song credits... Isaac has written two of my favorite Blood Incantation songs, and I think that's goes to show how talented he is, he is as an individual, because go listen to Abysmal Dimensions, go listen to Wayfarer, listen to Blood Incantation, everything the guy touches is like, just dialed. I think he just does Abysmal Dimensions live, but still, like, to be able to play that stuff, like, fucking A. I, I can't play guitar, so whenever I see anybody else play it, even if, you know, they're just playing some fucking <laughs> riff off Metallica's load, I can't play it, so, you know, bravo. But, this mini LP, to me, like, it's just fucking perfect, especially when it comes to the current United States black metal scene, and although this was recorded a couple years ago, it came out late 2020, and if I would have gotten this earlier, it would have been definitely, whoops, <laughs> at the end, sorry. Well, at least I get to show you what the actual A-side looks like. I'll put the B-side on, which is a lot more synthy and stuff. Really, really gorgeous LP. 180 grams of black metal goodness. I really love the B-side here. I got I got caught up in talking. Oh, it's so fucking just Oh, I love it. Stormkeep Galdrum on Van Records. This is you're rarely going to hear a US black metal record in 2021 of this nature. Most U.S. black metal you're going to hear right now is going to be of the more raw variety. This is something that doesn't come around so often, and when it does, it's mostly a poor dissection clone. And I'm not trying to be a dick, but that's the fucking truth. When it, they, This shit takes not just talent, but time. You can't rush something like this for real like the fact that this was you know it had to be perfect the cosmetics the production everything had to line up and few bands nowadays there's first off besides petrification i have not seen a single band mention like yeah, we're not in a rush. Like, we can't play live, so why would we rush out a full length? I get it completely. Like, especially, you know, if you're a band that plays live a lot. Like, 
I, I get getting a record out of the way, maybe, but then by the time, let's say, shows come back full fucking swing, because now I feel like it's the whole, well, I got vaccinated, I don't have to wear a mask, and it's just... I'd rather just listen to Storm Key than worry about that shit right now. But I, I just, I, I love this record. I can't get over it, and it's only a mini LP. Like, total emperor worship right here. Even with the vocals, like, kind of later emperor. I think it's awesome. But it's not just Emperor Worship that's here, and that's what makes Stormkeep so fucking interesting. And Galdrum, just an amazing release. The lyrics, very fucking cool. I love the promo photo, the logo, everything. It's fucking great. Like, I really don't know what else to say besides fuck yeah. Like, absolutely, fuck, yeah. And you have Glass Caverns of Dragon Kings, Lightning Frost, Lost in Mystic Woods, and Cursed Hollows, which is such a fucking amazing song. When you hear it, you'll probably buy a copy of this. I'm not even joking. And then Of Lore, which is just amazing and that's on right now of lore in ancient motored tones black speech written by three old crones if the book is found by a hero so renowned power of the earth and time will be unleashed unto all kind storm keep Goldrum on on Van Records as well as Order of the Divine Light which is Storm Keep's little logo I meant little label I think I'm not 100% positive but look at that artwork again by Ian Miller it's fucking gorgeous and again it claims to be from 1994 I mean it would legit work But when it comes to American, Scandinavian, black metal worship, Storm Keep is out in front with Galdrum. Absolutely amazing stuff. Van Records, Clear Vinyl, limited to 500 copies. Thank you, John Randall, for throwing this towards the channel, like, seriously. Big fucking deal, and real quick, Let's, let's hit up some uh, strawberry shortcake. Very indica heavy. Like even the record smoking, it's so fucking sick. But yeah, if you're looking for some black metal, look no further than Storm Keep with Goldrum. Fuck yeah. Thank you again, John Randall, and thank you, Maniacs at Home, for watching as always. You fucking rule. Hey,